we are going to do a before and after comparison of what my car looked like before I painted it and after I painted it from cyber gray to a pearl white of me literally painting my C7 Corvette outside in my backyard at home. And we're going to see how I got from that to what it is currently at right now as a nice, pretty pearl white. I love it. Stay tuned and see how I got there. Join me on this journey. Small disclaimer before you watch this video, I am not a professional painter, but what I am is someone who is not afraid to do stuff. So if you're like me and you're not afraid to mess some stuff up, then by all means watch this video. And um, if you take anything away from this video, the moral of this story is don't be afraid to try and do shit. Stay tuned. So basically what I'm doing right here is my first day, I took off all the emblems as you still see some emblem residue from the glue, um, the 3M tape. I took off the front hood vents. I taped off the headlights, ready to paint that. Um, so basically I'm just, this is day one. I will basically show you my indoor tent canopy paint booth that I made for outdoors. <laughs> it worked out pretty well to keep the dust and uh, the wind from fucking up the paint. Of course, there's still some paint, you know, dust in it, but barely, it helped out a lot. So I bought everything off Amazon, so including those um, water weights to hold the canopy up or down rather when the wind blew. I will show you everything I bought off Amazon right here. So if you're curious about it, take a look. It will literally covered about 75% of the car, maybe mm, a little bit less. I started with about 400 grit, um, just to knock it off pretty fast, especially with the front bumper with all the paint chips, you know, from rocks, just over the years of driving on the freeway, driving on the road of rocks chipping up the paint. So I really wanted to get that pretty much down uh, pretty deep. Then I just moved up to 800 and then obviously 1,000, 1,500, then 2,000 grit. And then finally, you know, I went to 3,000 grit. Um, but that's later on. Um, as you see, I had to use some putty to cover up all the chips from the rocks. And, you know, that's on every car. So it's not a really big deal. You see there's pretty much no putty anywhere else on it. This is what it looks like after I pretty much sanded it and wet sanded it down. Um, people would see me working on my car and obviously want to stop and talk and distract me basically but um i kept moving along as you see there is i taped off fully the headlights and got that done because you really want that to be really thick before you lay some paint so the light won't shine through and i did my design for the front bumper here i am wet sanding it some more down you know it's, it's a lot of work but um it's definitely worth it i think i'm wet sanding right here for sure it had to be like 1500 so Stay tuned and see what it looks like after it's all wet sanded and ready to go almost. My son would constantly keep coming outside during his breaks from his Zoom sessions at school and check and see how the car was coming out, if it was painted yet. I think he was literally more excited than me to see how it was gonna come out. I think he didn't have much confidence in me since I was painted outside as like probably a lot of you viewers are at home watching this probably things gonna come out like garbage but from the pre videos you see it didn't come out as bad as you might think it would for being painted outside and for this only being my fourth car I've ever painted um, again that's all wet sanded down it's pretty solid the body is in great condition so I didn't really have to do much sanding on it no real repairs on any body work so it, it was pretty much easy breezy the most concern I had was just how much dust can I keep off the paint It's really hard to sand and paint while recording at the same time. So I did a little bit of sanding. Even still, I didn't want to record while I was sanding. I didn't have a, re a recorder. I didn't feel like setting it up. I really want to keep moving. So you won't see me painting too much while I'm fil filming because, or at all, because I didn't want to mess up the paint. I was already worried about just the wind blowing. As you see, it's kind of blowing my tarps, uh, my tent set up already. I'm pretty much already masked off, ready to go. 
I taped the door jams up. I didn't want to do the whole inside door jams. I kind of wanted to have a contrast of the old paint color with the white mixed in to keep that theme going of black and white. Uh, but as you see, that was my real first coat of me starting to paint right there. The base, laying the base down. And um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm just really testing the gun right now just to make sure I'm laying it down evenly. Um, and I keep just going over and over it. I pretty much got the whole car did at that point of the base. I think I went over it with about two or three coats of base before I even started laying the pearl down. So it's a lot of work, but again, I did not want to film and paint at the same time. One, I didn't want to get paint on my camera, and two, I didn't want it to run. So I did not paint, uh, film and paint at the same time. Every time I stopped a, a coat, I would just uh, film what I'd done. Um, and again, it was windy, so I was trying to get it done so no dust or any debris would fly on the car so i kept it pushing without me actually filming me painting but trust and believe i painted the car 100 percent myself mm. again so this is probably the end of day one or two i lost track it took me a total of about four days of painting you can see the pearl really hidden right there when the sun hits it um obviously this is after i laid the pearl and i think a few clear coats on it um i really didn't want it to gloss that much i kind of wanted it to have a semi gloss with a kind of a matte look to it so i was real careful about not laying down too much clear uh but I knew I had to wet sand it over again anyway. So this at this point right here, it, it kind of looks done, but it's really not. So you will see the steps I take after this. I'm about to come to the door jam so I can show you what I'm talking about, about how I masked it off so I can still see the contrast of the black trim with the white. It came out really nice. I was very pleased about how I did the door jams. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. So I'm very pleased with that as well. Um, everyone thought I was done at this point. But um, me knowing <laughs> I'm only halfway done. The scary part was going to do the final clear. Uh, so I had to wash it up right real quick and then get to wet setting the whole car again with about 2000 to about um, 3000 grit for the final clear coats. So I was just making sure I put all the trims back on. Well, not all the trims yet. I did do the put the headlight tail, uh, tails back on because I wanted to clear that up too as well. So um, I'm about to start the final clear coat, about to mask it up after I wash it and um, get to work. So far, I'm pleased with it. I'm tired. I wouldn't say five, four days of working on the car, probably about two, four days. If I'm doing hours, probably about 30 hours into it, maybe, maybe less, give or take. Um, last thing I gotta do, I just put all the, the trim and the emblems back on it right now. So the final steps, I'm gonna wet sand and buff, and I am gonna do the rims, plastic dip, Plasti dipped the rims, um, but I'll let you take a look at the car. It came out pretty decent so far for painting the outside and being my third car that I've painted ever. So I'm pleased, just a little tired, that's all. Have a look. It's not perfect, but it's uh, pretty damn good. Like I said, for it only being my third car I've ever painted and it being painted mostly outside, 
not bad. So I'll wash it up, wet sand it, buff it. Went with the C8 look, moved it to the back and took them off the sides. But like I said, not bad. And now it's time for the final touches of me just wet sanding the rims with about 3000 grit just to knock off some of the dust and debris and Plassey dip them. I kind of wish I just put a regular spray paint in them uh, because just the Plassey dip kind of came off when I took the tape off a little bit, but uh, still not bad. I'm very pleased about how the car came out overall, especially for me painting outside. And now time for the photo shoot. I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe and i will catch you on the next one again don't be afraid to do it and try it yourself if you mess up try it again keep doing it until you get it right appreciate the views on to the next video deuces Shorty say she's single, wanna blow up my phone If I hit it like I do this, she won't leave me